Welcome to Liverpool. The murder of schoolboy Reese Jones exposed a criminal world of rival gangs and turf warfare between two gangs, the Nogger Dogs and their enemy, the Crocky Crew. The 11 year old's killer, Sean Mercer, was a member of the notorious Crocky Crew. The Nogger Dogs, aka the Strand Gang, were involved in a tit for tat war with the Crocky Crew. The Strand Gang come from the Norris Green district of Liverpool. The Crockstoff crew had formed in 1988, with the resulting turf war with rivals leaving 27 dead. 250 people were wounded within the first five years. During the trial over Reese's killing, it emerged there had been 17 shootings involving the two gangs between 2004 and 2008. Gang members from both sides have now either been jailed or killed, but for almost a decade, the Crockstoff crew and the Strand gang caused misery for those living in the area. In 2004, three years before Reese was shot, a high profile killing raised tensions between the two gangs. Danny McDonald, a Crocky crew leader, was blasted seven times by a gunman wearing a ski mask. The 20 year old's murder was the result of a number of petty disputes between the gangs. No one was charged with McDonald's murder, but Strand Gang rookie Liam Smith was widely believed to be the killer. The shooting was said to have propelled Smith up the hierarchy of the Strand Gang. He was shot dead outside the prison in 2006 in a revenge attack. A 10-week trial in 2007 involving 11 defendants saw three men convicted of murder and one of manslaughter. In March 2005, Liam Smith was shot at with a shotgun. The pellets were later found in his body when it was being examined after his death. On August the 23rd in 2006, Smith went to visit a friend who was serving time in Old Course Prison. While visiting his friend, he had a bitter dispute with convict Ryan Lloyd, who was a central figure of rival gang, the Crockstoff crew. The dispute is understood to have happened in the visitor's area where Lloyd was being visited by his sisters. Lloyd ran back to his cell and grabbed a contraband mobile phone and called his friends. He could be heard shouting, quick, quick, give us the phone. I'll get the boys up here to come and pop him. By the time Liam Smith left the prison, gang members had arrived from Kirkstuff and were crouching in the bushes next to the car park. One witness said, that among the group he saw a 15 year old boy armed with a shotgun. Smith was shot moments later in the head at point blank range. Four people were jailed for their part in the killing of Liam Smith. Ryan Lloyd, 19, Thomas Forshaw, 18, and Sean Farrell, who was just 16 years old, were convicted of Smith's murder. Liam Duffy was also convicted of manslaughter and received 20 years of which he was served 10. At the time, Judge Mr Justice Saunders said, Liam Smith was killed because he was a member of the Strand Gang and was hated by members of the Crockstoff crew. A previous attempt on his life by shooting had been foiled but police had no chance of arresting the perpetrators of that offence because Liam Smith did not report it, preferring to sort it out in his own way. Joseph Thompson died from multiple gunshot wounds in 2012 after a gunman showered him and a friend with bullets in Norris Green. He was a leading member in the Strand Gang. Two of Thompson's brothers, Gerard Thompson, 22, and Daniel Thompson, 25, were jailed in January over a plot to steal cannabis from rival drug gangs. Gerard Thompson, who attacked a man with a hammer, got 10 years while Daniel Thompson received 21 months for letting him through a security gate. His other brother, Jamie Mack Thompson, formerly of Norris Green, went on the run after breaching an order to wear an electronic tag and featured as one of the Echo's fugitives last Boxing Day. Jamie Thompson, 23, admitted possessing cannabis as well as cocaine and heroin with intent to supply when he appeared at Liverpool Crown Court. Liam Duffy, the killer of Liam Smith, made so much money running a cross-county drugs line from his jail cell 
that he was able to splash out on a luxury £50,000 car for his friends. The 35-year-old orchestrated a £4.6 million heroin trafficking plot while behind bars for his role in the brutal killing of Strand gang rival Liam Smith. His illicit operation was shut down after drugs and cash were seized in two busts in Norwich, where Duffy was sending the heroin consignments. Run from his prison cell in HMP Buckley Hall, Rochdale, and understood to have been founded on his Croxteth crew links, Duffy used an illegally possessed mobile phone to organise drug deliveries from Liverpool to Norwich. Between September 2013 and August 2015, he coordinated up to 23 heroin deliveries using a network of couriers, his main associates being Carl Fairfield and Tony Rimmer, who both lived in Croxteth. Analysis of mobile phones revealed a clear pattern that exposed Duffy as the plot's mastermind. Duffy, who was serving 20-year manslaughter sentence for the 2006 killing of Mr Smith, would call Fairfield and Rimmer to arrange the deals. They would hire vans to transport the heroin to Norfolk, where they would sell it to Rocky Gamble and Andrew Murphy. Details of the plot came to light following a trial of issue over Duffy's involvement at the Old Bailey in March. He had pleaded guilty to conspiracy to supply heroin in early 2016, but his sentencing was delayed for around one year as the basis of his plea was disputed. Fairfield was jailed for nine years. He had also pleaded guilty to separate drugs charges. Tony Rimmer was jailed for eight years. Murphy of Norwich was handed six and a half years in 2014 after pleading guilty to possession of heroin with intent to supply and handling stolen goods.